Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 14 of Spyro, Year of the Dragon, part of the Reignite Trilogy. So in the last episode, we made it here to Midnight Mountain, and yep, we have to talk to Bianca here. She doesn't actually come and find you, I'm pretty sure, because technically you already have enough if you've 100%ed everything as you went through the game. But yeah. Now levels will have even more gems in them, and yeah, it follows the same suit. I really do like Midnight Mountain, though, despite the background actually being pretty lackluster. It's just crystalline mountains, but I guess we're at the top of a mountain, right? And we have Saki, which is actually a Japanese liquor, which is... Interesting. That reminds me, I'll be recording Persona 5 after this uh, video. Not not after this um, series, but after this video. It's going to be a really long series, because like, speed rushing through text, and it still takes hours upon hours to, you know, complete. Also, an egg thief. We haven't seen th these guys at all in the last world. I'm pretty sure last world is the only world that doesn't even have a singular egg thief. And there we go. We have my Ken. I honestly don't know what language that is. There's so many different languages and cultures out there that could be like a name from literally anywhere. And I wouldn't know because I've just honest to God never heard of that name before. But for the time being, uh, we have the level Desert Ruins. Kind of a boring name, honestly. Doesn't really sound like a level that would be very cool. Oh, see, she finds you once you're in here. It only takes a hundred eggs. Yeah, it's funny though, because it's technically more of a portal. It's not like Ripto, where it was just a hallway where if you accidentally went down too far while collecting the gems in there, you'd end up in the boss fight, even when you didn't want to. But luckily, that's not the case here. And it only takes 100, and we have 100... I guess we only have 110. I think there's 151 in the game. We have Eevee from Paladins, the Winter Witch. And the Derpy Snake in the background. That's actually kind of a cool picture. Oh god, I thought it was going to take damage there for a second. Ooh, this level, Dino Mines. This is actually a pretty cool level, but can also be extremely difficult. But it is a really, really fun level. Also, I keep forgetting to check skill points. What are we missing? Fireworks Factory, find his power. That's not till um, we go back. Desert Ruins, Seaweed, Swim to Darkhold. That's super easy. Hit all seahorses. That one's a little annoying. Hit the secret dino. That one is lucky and blow up all palm trees. Oh, the, the rest of them are mainly Agent 9. Also, these little lizards keep getting in my way and causing me to have to wait for Sparks to return. Oh yeah, we also have to do the Sparks level still. There's actually a little bit of backtracking we have to do. I forgot all about the Sparks level. That level's pretty cool too. Because it's not like your traditional one where he's facing insects or arachnids. And I didn't want to talk to that, but he wouldn't pick up the stupid green gem. Ay ay ay. Oh, this looks suspicious. Oh, look, it's an egg by the name of Buddy Holly. Thanks, Buddy. Let's go up here now. Alrighty, let's see what we got going on now. Um. Harbor Speedway. In my opinion, probably the most bland speedway in this game. Still beats Ocean Speedway in Spiral 2. Honestly, uh, you can get to the end of the game over there, but there's no point of going over there just yet because you need to collect literally everything in the game. And we don't have everything in the game yet, luckily, because I don't want to ruin what that level is anyway if you guys haven't played this game. So, yeah, since we kind of got spoiled about the last Animal Buddy, kind of want something to be a secret, you know? Alright, so now we have to go over to the Agent 9 section. Actually, I don't think it even tells you what the level's name is up there. I think it just shows you the totals that you need. 
Yeah, here's Agent 9. But we're still missing something. Now, where was it? Well, there's the last of the gems, but where was the last dragon egg again? Wait. Shh, it's a secret. Yeah, there's actually six eggs, but you can't get them all. There is one that you can get, and I can't quite remember where it was. Oh, it's right there. Duh. Also, that actually sounds really cool when you break it. Nice crumble effect. We have Billy. Billy Bob Thornton, I guess. I don't know. That, that'll be your name. And this is five out of five, despite it clearly showing six eggs. But is that this? Yeah, it's just an egg for sale. Huh. Game spoils more than I'm pretty sure it's supposed to. Pretty sure the original didn't spoil anything like that. I don't even think that egg showed up. Anyways, let's talk to Moneybags. I'm um, pretty sure he is. 1300 gems. Oh my god. Um, yeah. May I uh, recall the other three times? Okay, the fist bump is actually new. They actually changed up that cutscene quite a bit, because it's way funnier. One of the very few things in the Spyro 3, part of the remaster, that's actually better than the original. Anyways, let's go to Agent 9's lab. We'll go here, then we'll go to the Sparks level and pr hopefully finish off, um, uh, what's it called? You know what I mean. Yeah, he just talks about that. They all say the same thing. Yeah, so Professor is actually the one to create Agent 9. Also, yeah, now there's 700 gems in every level. He also doesn't have the ability to double jump. So your primary goal here is to shoot all the targets. Also killing the Rhinoc that happens to be hiding behind it. And then once you clear off a zone, he'll teleport. So watch this. Yep, and that will tell you when you technically complete it. Also, he's kind of in third person. It's like a third person shooter. Alright, is this second person? This might be second person since it's over the shoulder. Now, the the skill point you need is to actually destroy these. They don't look like palm trees, per se. But they're what you need to destroy. Oh, and we have to talk to him. Yeah, shoot the rhino. Shoot the panic button. So that red button right back there? Yeah, that's how you deal with it. If you keep your distance from these guys, a lot of time they can't actually attack you, by the way. I don't know why their range is so bad, but... Oh, that was weird. Even though the door shut down, it was still acting like the door was up. Also, fun fact, there are a lot of balloons uh, up above in these levels that you actually have to keep an eye out for to make sure you don't miss anything. Not a fan of that because it can get annoying, but whatever. Ow, that was on me. That was just be me, be me being stupid. Jeez, I can't talk. It doesn't look like we're missing anything over here. Okay, destroy the panic button before anything, then kill this guy, and then mo money bags. Then the professor should unlock the door. Perfect. Before we continue on, though, I want to grab all these gems to make sure we don't miss anything. 
All right, that looks like it. Wait, hang on. Aha, I knew it. Can never be too sure. Yeah, you'll start seeing a lot of bigger gems or big clusters of gems throughout levels. Which is just first person mode, by the way. I'm pretty sure it forces you in. Oh no, it doesn't actually force you in. But yeah, this is this is your sniper mode, aka first person. And this is just a really dumb way of getting you used to this ability. Also, this level is really weird when it comes to the eggs, because unlike the other levels where you just have to continue on and deal with like the character I guess I guess Sergeant Bird was technically the same way, where two of the eggs were story-based, and then the third one was kind of just, you know, an extra one, but... Oh well. Yeah, I don't really think you need to do that. A lot of the time they'll, they'll come to anyway, and you just have to shoot them in the nest. See, like this? Like, I don't even know... I've never actually zoomed in before. Honestly, I forgot that was even a thing. And you get an egg for the first time, but you have to do it a second time. Well, if it hatches, it's... Be Beulah? I'm pretty sure it's Beulah. Yeah, it's, it's a girl, so it's Beulah. <laughs> Oh, I hope no birds got in here. Also, why are they so big and creepy? Let me up. Oh no, birds. Also, since some fly around, the ones flying around will actually fly back into the nest that you cleared out. Which is kind of a good way to, you know, figure out where the heck these birds are going to go. No one is actually going to come and attack us. And super easy. The, the way they really set this up is like you're going to use Agent 9 a lot with all these abilities. And the sad thing is you I don't think you actually use his bombs that much. You definitely don't use them in the Dino Mine level. That's for sure. I'm pretty sure there's also a balloon in here, too. Or maybe not. I always thought there was a balloon in here, but I guess not. Alright, so the gimmick of this is bombs. Which you use the square button to deal, or to throw. And fire in the hole. And fire in the hole. And, oh, this is going to be a direct shot. And these are also how you're going to destroy the palm trees, by the way. Wait. Why does this not have, like, a... Why didn't it have its... You know what I mean, right? Like, the, uh... Like that. The reticle. Where was the reticle? That was just weird. So, yeah. So, now you can destroy the palm tree. It moved! I've never seen that happen before. It actually moved... The thing that carries all the gems. I don't actually know what those are called, by the way. Okay, so that's actually where the other egg is. But before we do that, I kind of want to make sure we grab everything. Yeah, there's two balloons up there that we need to pop. Because we don't want to leave anything behind. Anyways, let's go and do this. Which is another thing where you just go into, like, first-person mode. And then you go and snipe some of these guys. Actually, zooming in doesn't really help, because it's not pinpoint accurate, because technically there's a delay with your shots anyway, so... There we go, he's dead, and then there's just this guy over here doing whatever. Oh, and he died. Tony Stark! Wow, such an amazing dragon name. Right on. Oh yeah, and you lose your bombs. One thing I've always hated about this game is, 
or a lot of games in general, not just specifically this game, but any game where you just kind of lose abilities or power-ups simply because a cutscene gets in the way. I don't think that should ever be the case, but anyways, we should go back now and deal with the palm trees and stuff that we missed, as well as the other breakables. I also don't think we missed any balloons, so that's good. Balloons are usually the item I miss anyway when I'm playing this game. You know, as a kid, I always wondered, like, hey, is the scope one going to be these? Simply because... Can it stop wasting them by aiming upward so high? Like, game, what's with your... Ps oh, that's all the palm trees. Alrighty then, that's interesting. Maybe you just got a big chunk of change there, too. Right on, so now we should just be able to beat the level normally. And also, when did I take damage? Wait, is that still the damage from when I got hit by the the Rhinoch at the very beginning of the game? That's interesting. I can't believe I didn't grab any health. But then again, this level's actually pretty scarce in health. They're only in, like, two sections of the entire level. So, continue on. Deal with... The the Rhinox, and then... Are we going to have time to do the next level in this episode? This is actually a longer level than I was expecting, because we did do all of Midnight Mountain in this episode, too. And there's a lot more cutscenes and dialogue... Uh... In this game than... Or, in this game. In this world than there was in the... Ah! Uh, in the previous world. Wait, can I kill you guys? You know, it's hard to tell that these guys actually even have armor on. Oh, and I guess that was all the Rhinox. Alright. And we got Rowan. Rowan Atkinson. Hmm. Oh, you stole my bombs again, game. Really? Oh my god, these cutscenes, man. Also, why did that basket have so many guard darn gems in it? Oh, let's go and grab the bombs. Also, I love how there's one bomb vendor in this entire area. Just just one bomb vendor. That's it. I think we'll have time to do the Sparks level, but then we won't have time to do the uh, uh, Fireworks Factor. That'll be in the next episode. And there we go, 700 gems. Perfect. Let's leave. Oh, he does like a peace out sign when he leaves. You know, there's 700 gems. 5,025. We still are down uh, 600 gems from money bags, because that costs 1,300 to get in there. Wait, 600? Yeah, 600. Not going crazy. Anyways, let's grab some health. And now we can head to Evening Lake and go to the Sparks level, which is another water level. This entire world is water-themed, despite actually not having a water level. What the heck was that? I think I knocked over my uh, charging cord that I used to charge my phone and stuff with. Anyways, let's go up here. And this should be where we find Zoe. And we're not going to listen to her dialogue. Princess Amy. Why would Princess Amy from Charmed Ridge know where an aqueous region is for Sparks to explore? Now remember, every Sparks level only has 200 gems and one egg. So, nothing new there. wonder what power-up that is. Oh, we still got hit by that. Oh, it's the good power-up. Oh my god, two random starfish. Now, this level is kind of interesting, because this is one of the few ones where you won't have all the gems before you defeat the boss. Um, can you, like, not hug the wall? That's my thing there, to hug the wall, dude. Oh yeah, these starfish, when they're hit, they'll explode into little starfish, except they made them easier to kill in this game. Because, like, they don't spread out as far when you shoot them. Oh god, there's a hair in my eye and it keeps poking me. Do we go up or down? Here we go up. Yeah, see, they're supposed to spread out like that, but for some reason they're not all doing that. Like, you can actually kill them a lot of the time before they actually spawn in. 
All right, now it looks like we can go to one of these other doors. These eels are annoying, but not really that difficult. Especially if you just know how to... It's a weird question, but why aren't these guys attacking me yet? I guess I just wasn't close enough. Oh, is this where one of their spawners is? Ah, uh, two spawners. I guess I was hitting that one more than I thought I was. Alright. Oh, is that one of their spawners? Or is that... Actually, I have no idea what that spawned, because it didn't ever spawn anything. That was weird. Oh, big starfishies. Oh, this guy. Wait, he didn't actually damage me, really? Why didn't he damage me? That was weird. I'm pretty sure those are undersea mines, like the, the blue star or the blue butterfly. I was gonna call them starfish, not starfish. Starfish are the enemies we're killing. And they're kind of like a pinkish red, not Not a blue, but sure. Anyways, let's swim, swim, swim till the sun goes down. We need to go over this way. Um, that was weird. It just straight up wasn't letting me in, despite being allowed in. I'm like, there's no other door game. It's like there was, like, delay on the game. Oh, balls. Give me that. Just gonna prepare the fire, just in case. Alright, you're all dead. That's good to know. Alrighty oh. Oh. A sneak attack on the enemy. You guys can't do squat when I'm coming at you from behind. Now what's over here? Oh, I thought maybe it would be the boss, but this doesn't look like a boss room at all. This looks like eels and starfish. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to spawn in faster than that, but for whatever reason... The game made their spawn time so slow that they're not really a threat. Oh, nothing? Okay. Oh, we got the boss. Manta Ray. Which is kind of an interesting boss because, ow, it'll split into mini ones and then die immediately. And we got Anashan. 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 Now we just have to collect the gems, and then, like I said, there is a, like, a little backtrack area that you have to go, and, oh, careful not to go in there. I remember doing that before, and that was embarrassing. Alright. So, where are the rest of the gems? Down this little hallway. And that's it. That's the level. Super easy. So, let's leave. It's another 200 gems to the collection. I still find it really funny that you only get 200 gems. Yay, the adventure continues. Yay! I don't think he changes color. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, Join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode we'll finish off Fireworks Factory and probably take on Desert Ruins or Crystal Island. See you guys next time. Bye bye